Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, and I'm, I'm quite a bit late to this one. However, there is a new game update, and I wanted to go over some of the points that we're going to get come maintenance, come after maintenance duration here in actually a few hours. So, I still wanted to give my opinion before I made the video tomorrow, going over the different changes. And, of course, I'll be making a separate video, because, as you can already see, there's a new hero involved in this one. But, let's go through this together. Number one, KOF 97 collaboration event. This is King of Fighters 97. Um, I'll admit that I'm 32 and I've not played King of Fighters. So, this is going to be an entirely new hero for me. Um, I did get into Tekken and Street Fighter back in the day. However, King of Fighters was a new one for me. So, I'll definitely need to read up on that. Number two, new legendary rider hero, the alluring ninja Mai Shir uh, Shiranui. Apologies if I'm butchering the crap out of that. The fact that they're only giving us one hero now is interesting. I think the transition from uh, the old system of Top Commander to the new one does allow for incremental additions to heroes as a opposed to dropping two at a time. However, I do believe that this hero is going to be geared towards zombie hunting. And I don't know if that's going to be the greatest thing. And you really don't know what to pair that with other than another zombie hunting hero. And I'll be honest, you don't want two more of those, especially out of legendaries. Most people already have their heroes pretty well leveled up. And giving a hero that's going to distract from a field combat hero or a rally hero is probably not the best idea. So we'll see if this is going to be a hybrid uh, combat zombie hero or if it's just going to be a straight zombie. But I do believe zombie is going to be involved here. Number three, Lethal Outbreak, Grand Revival, and Great Hunter are now part of the Wasteland Challenge. Join events and improve your rank to unlock tier rewards and access a larger variety of rare items at the Wasteland store. Cool. I like that. Have Combining the three events so that you only have one item to collect and dump them all into one event. Perfectly fine with that. However, that will probably make it harder to rank in each individual event. So as soon as something good drops in one of those events... Everybody's going to dump all of their items and people aren't going to get what they want. Now, hopefully they have something to mitigate that, but we shall see. Number four, new squad skin, Anubis. Went from King of Fighters to an Egyptian, uh, an Egyptian god of death squad skin. Um, this ought to be interesting. I guess it's closer to what we're kind of dealing with as far as gameplay. We were getting very techy there for a while and having a god of death in a doomsday game it at least sort of makes sense number five new troop skin range squad siren um didn't we already have a range squad skin that kind of got incorporated into the other troop types or did i miss something on that um all in all new skins mean more stats and they do stack so not a bad thing just means more rewards for people to go after. Number six, hero armament optimizations. One, adds a secondary prompt and dismantling armament with high might so that you don't accidentally do so. Quality of life change, kind of like that. Armaments auto lock when sufficiently upgraded. Depends on what sufficiently upgraded means. Um, gold armaments automatically lock as soon as you get them. So I assume this is for purple or blue armaments uh, once you get them to a certain point they'll auto lock which not a bad thing um, keeps you from using your upgraded ones for merging purposes but all in all this isn't something that's going to change uh, your gameplay drastically armament fragments can be crafted in batch from bag armament could they not before i mean 
most people aren't going to make more than one item at a time. If you're collecting 60 fragments and hitting them all at, well, more than 60 fragments and hitting them all at once, I don't think it's going to bother you too much to be able to click that button twice to get two new armaments. But, well, what do I know? Armament information are shown on the hero inter interface of deployed heroes. Um, I guess it's just going to change the screen for how you can look at your own heroes to see what equipment they have in case you may have forgotten uh, exactly what armaments are on what heroes. We'll see how that works out. Number seven, recovery of Pompeii optimization. After the Pompeii battlefield opens, participating alliance members cannot leave the alliance, but non-participants can leave. That was a thing? I mean, I know no one's going to try and leave the alliance uh, during Pompeii, but I can't think of a reason they would put this in unless people were getting kicked out of Pompeii, kicked out of the alliance during Pompeii. Which would have been incredibly stupid. I can only imagine the tickets that came in for this one for the for that change. And eight other bug fixes and optimizations. So kind of a short update this time, which is why we had such a quick turnaround between the update notice and when the maintenance is going to happen for this. Um, but once the maintenance comes out, I'll take a look at the changes that were made and make a separate video going over them, as well as a first look at the new hero as it's loaded up. So look forward to the, making those videos tomorrow. But with that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.